All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to Palos Verdes for some calico bass fishing. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Uh, today, I'm not taking my boat. I'm only taking my inflatable kayak. The reason why I'm taking kayak is because of all the kelp uh, near the Palos Verde um, and try to anchor myself in the middle of it and drop down, catch the calico bass underneath <clears throat> or sheephead. So just to give you a tour of my setup, so I have my inflatable kayak and I put this uh, wood rod right across the kayak so I can install and uh, I can clip my electronic trolling motor which is going amazingly fine right now. The trolling motor is at 5 out of 12 speed, which is just really, you know, not too fast, but it's going to give me the most uh, distance. So I have three, I brought three rods today. So one is hanging over here, and then I have the two rods just uh, chilling in back. It's kind of cloudy, but it's a really, really beautiful day. Uh, there's no, not much wind at this time. It's about, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Uh, I think I'm almost there. I'm about two miles out. Uh, from Redondo Beach Harbor to Palos Verde Kelp Forest, it's about three miles. And I've uh, reached about a little over two mile spot uh, in about 30 minutes. So hopefully I can get there in 10 or 15 minutes and start fishing. All right, see you guys. We're at the kelp forest. I finally made it and here it is. So I'm gonna try to find a, a, the edge of the kelp forest so I can start um, fishing. I'm gonna drop my two shrimp baits uh, directly down to, to the floor to target sheephead and I have two swim baits uh, to target cargo bass. All right, so about an hour and a half of fishing and kelp bed um, using shrimp and uh, swim bait. I did not get any fish. I didn't even get a bite. Um, I What I heard before I left was the storm sort of destroyed all the kelp. So I'm thinking that may have something to do with it, but I was using ship, uh, shrimp to target sheep head on the bottom of the uh, kelp bed. No bites. I did lose the bait. I don't know if it was a uh, kelp that snatched all the bait or uh, something actually took it. Alright, sorry to disappoint you guys, but you know, you can't have a perfect day every day. So hopefully next time I'll get something. They say uh, if you can't catch any fish, catch buzz. So I'm gonna do that. Still, always nice to be out in the ocean, even if it's a gloomy day with no fish. But I can't complain. beautiful no drama just by yourself trying to catch fish I was so confident that I was gonna catch a fish today um, I've been watching other YouTube videos where people go to kelp bed and 
you know use the exact same setup that I did and during the summertime right about now and you know they're catching calico bass or they're catching they're catching uh, sheep heads even if it's not legal size I thought I was gonna catch something I'm just kind of disappointed and this is about and this is fourth time that I skunked I don't know what to make of it I was telling, telling my wife that hey there's literally no fish in the ocean that's the only conclusion I could come up with so now I must be doing something wrong I need to go back to the drying board and figure out what I did wrong maybe I gotta do a YouTube video about my electronic trolling motor review uh, the Bixby J2 um, it's fantastic if you have a kayak but you know you have a hard time paddling the whole way and you just want to sort of rest and then still go you install this and then you just you just relax and you just chill it's like one of the one of the coolest thing ever I purchased uh, it is a little pricey but to me it's worth it I don't want to paddle it's it's just too much work <laughs> um look at this it's just, it's just it's doing its job and all I'm doing is just staring left and right it's so easy um if you don't go like the fullest like the highest speed um it lasts really really long um and to be honest um i kind of like putting on like a mid-level speed and then just cruise and enjoy the day if there was a sun i'd be saying uh, i'm enjoying the sun sunshine but we don't have any sun i'm kind of buzzed but it's cool you know this is my first video that i'm really talking to the camera i always do a voiceover because i don't know what i'm when i'm speaking to directly to the camera i'm i always think i'm gonna mess up and i do mess up but i don't think it really matters english is my second language so i'm extra um careful or I'm extra paranoid that what I'm saying is not right grammatically wrong my accent is weird blah 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 who cares all I'm trying to do is uh, show you guys what I'm doing how I'm doing maybe you will learn from it maybe not but I like to share my experience, you know, that's all. I see a ton of people just showing, not the process, but just the result. Like, hey, I caught this fish and that fish, blah, 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 blah. Like, I always wonder, was that, did you go there just one time and then just catch fish or did you have to take, was that like, from multiple tries I don't want to just show the final result I want to show you the entire process like the the things the, the pain that I have to go through to get to somewhere um, the the hardships right I, I think that's more important than anything else <sighs> I am still disappointed I didn't catch any fish but I, I can't complain
I got a kelp in my motor. I'll be back. All right, we're back. 